Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Big Mike and today on BZ Cooks, we're going to be cooking in the Instant Pot. We're going to be making spicy chicken tacos. And I've got to say guys, the Instant Pot has saved my life plenty of times for cooks that would take hours and doing, doing them in minutes. Now this is per the request of one of my subscribers who wanted us to do more Instant Pot videos. One of the things they said is that they did not have a Weber kettle grill. So for those of you who don't have grills, don't really necessarily like to cook outside, we're going to be making chicken tacos inside using our Instant Pot. Super easy to do, so let's get right to the cook. Okay guys, let's go over these ingredients. So we're going to start off with the star of the show, and that's going to be our boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Now you can use chicken thighs if you want, it's totally up to you. But I'm gonna use chicken uh, breast today, okay? All right, we've got one uh, 15 ounce can of fire roasted uh, diced tomato. Um, we've got a half teaspoon of ground black pepper. Teaspoon of granulated garlic powder, okay? We've got a teaspoon of cumin one teaspoon of chili powder. Now this is chipotle chili powder, so I wanted it to be a little bit more spicy, um, but if you don't like it really spicy, you can dumb this down and get regular chili powder. And I've got some genuine real Mexican hot sauce here. This is a fourth cup, okay? Um, the green onions, the cilantro, and the jalapeno peppers, it's pretty much gonna be garnish for, for the tacos, and you'll see that when we make them. I'm also gonna add some avocado to it too, but that's also gonna be garnish, sour cream as well. You're gonna need some low sodium chicken broth. Now this is what we're gonna use to cook our chicken in. We're gonna need one cup of this, okay? So stay tuned, we're gonna get right to the overhead shot of the Instant Pot. You're gonna see us cook this, and stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, real easy to get this started. As you can see, we're just throwing our chicken breasts into the Instant Pot, real super simple. Um, next, we're gonna add our chicken broth. That's low sodium chicken broth. We wanna keep that salt content down as much as possible. Here are our fire roasted tomatoes. Super simple to do. And I'm basically, guys, just dumping everything in here. It's not rocket science. Super, like I said, I'm almost embarrassed to share this recipe with you guys like this. Um, so we're gonna be using corn tortillas. I just wanna let you guys know that if you wanna do like a super like keto version of this, you can do these in lettuce wraps. So get some lettuce to make your tacos. But other than that, guys, I basically just dumped everything in here and I'm gonna take a wooden spoon and stir all the ingredients in, okay? Um, you wanna get that nice and mixed in because you're gonna, next you're gonna put your lid on. Now, you're gonna set your Instant Pot on manual for 12 minutes, okay? 12 to, let's say, let's say 15 minutes, all right? We'll set it to 15 minutes, because after we're done, we're gonna shred these, okay? So stay tuned, guys, we'll get right back to you so we can shred up this chicken meat. All the steam to escape, we're gonna take our lid off now. Nice and steamy. Okay, now this smells heavenly delicious, y'all. I'm gonna take two forks and we're just gonna shred this chicken breast up. I'm gonna let it simmer some more. The pot is still on. As a matter of fact, I may set it on simmer, but I have a tempered glass lid. This lid is vented. It's made for the Instant Pot. I'll put a link in the description so that you can um, purchase these for your own um, if you like to but I'm gonna use this because I'm not trying to pressure cook it anymore but I do want it to simmer some more to absorb some more of those juices so all right guys so we are done with our chicken for our tacos I've already taken the liberty and I've made four. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat these. Let me let you get a look at these. Check that out. 
Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make one and show you how we put these together. All right, just for demonstration purposes, you're gonna take a slotted spoon and take out some of the chicken that you've shredded. Make sure you use a shredded spoon because you wouldn't, you don't wanna transfer a lot of juice over to, you don't want a soggy taco. So I'm gonna get some chicken here. Set some down right there. I like really meaty tacos, so I'm gonna get a little bit more. Don't be jealous. <laughs> All right. Okay, like so, okay? Now, I'm gonna add some of my red onions. If you don't like onions, you don't have to put any on there. Just a little bit. I'm gonna add some cilantro. Cilantro. Okay. Add one or two of these jalapeno peppers. Get a little bit of our, our avocado. Put that on there. And a little dollop of this here sour cream. All right. And there you have it, guys. That's all you gotta do, put it together. Now, you know what I'm getting ready to do. <laughs> <laughs> for science, it's going down. I'm not gonna eat all four of these, I'm gonna share them, but I am gonna eat this one. So I'm gonna eat this so I can tell you how it tastes. You gotta know how it tastes, right? For science. Mm. Oh, wow. Man, this is a flavor bomb. With the cumin, and okay, now I'm getting a little bit of that spice. Oh man, you cannot go wrong. Enough said guys, you have got to make this for yourself. As you can see, it's a super simple, easy recipe to make. If you've got an Instant Pot, you can do it. If you don't have an Instant Pot, you can do this. Just do it in the regular pot and it's gonna take longer, okay? So with that being said guys, if you're new to the channel and you're not subscribed, quit playing with your life and hit that subscribe button. Okay, hit the like button, leave a comment. For those of you who are subscribers, thank you for coming back to the channel. We got more videos to come. This is Big Mike with BZ Cooks, signing out to the next video. We'll see you later.